Hey guys, welcome back into Mountain Dog Companion. Thanks for tuning in again. Today we're going to be talking about Joyce and Benny's litter of Bernice Mountain Dog puppies here. We got four girls and two boys out of this group and everyone's doing great. We got some super unique puppies here um, doing very well. There's some differences in coloring and size and just an overall very nice uh, combination of puppies here in this group so really looking forward to these guys um, showing you guys how they're doing how they're coming along we're just hanging out in their play area we got some toys out here interactive toys some rattle noises um, we got a potty pad over here as well um, and then a crate as well so we'll get them started on some crate training and some potty training and uh, some interactive toys to get some mental stimulation so really looking forward to these guys they're coming along very well they're about four and a half coming up on five weeks old um, and everyone seems to be doing very well um, doing great and we'll just go through today talk about each puppy individually talk about their size in comparison to one another and talk about their markings. So first up here, we got Julie. Um, Julie is uh, right in the middle of the pack when it comes to size, maybe a little bit on the smaller side of things, um, but very, very sweet, super outgoing. One of the more outgoing girlies out of the group. So you got the nice white socks in the back and the nice tuxedo look up front, along with her tippy toes being covered in white and a beautiful white blaze for her. Um, along with a white tip tail. So a really neat look there for her. So medium, kind of on the, a little bit on the smaller side um, in comparison to her litter mates, but she's gonna be a big girl, I feel like. Um, she's not the biggest, but she'll have some good size. So very sweet to see there. Um, I think we got Jax here, if I'm not mistaken. Where is it, Jensen? Um, no, this is Jensen. Oh, oh he's, yeah, never mind. Could have just looked at his eye. But um, anyway, this little guy, super unique. So um, this is like the second or third time I've ever seen a Bernice Mountain Dog puppy with blue, with one blue eye. So um, you'll see the left eye is completely normal, um, completely just your dark, normal brown eye. And then the right hand side has a bright blue eye, which is super, super neat, right buddy? Very neat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're neat. Yeah, you are. You want to show it off? Um, but yeah, very neat to see. You got the white socks in the back, white socks up front, beautiful tuxedo look um, to go along with that white blaze in between his eyes. Nice tan overall and a white tip tail for him as well. He is a big boy. He's a very chunky guy. Him and uh, Jax are very similar when it comes to size. Um, so both are very very similar on that regard, or in that regards, but Jax, or Jensen here, a little bit more on the outgoing side of things um, overall. So just a little bit more outgoing, maybe a little bit more energetic as well compared to, uh, compared to Jax. So very neat to see. You can really see that blue eye from there. Um, this little guy, but very neat to see. So again, Jensen back here with the blue eye. Um, if you guys are looking for these guys, if you're looking for more information, check out the website. We'll have individual pictures for these guys and girls, of course, um, on the website. And you can check out, if you click on more info, it'll pull up a couple more pictures for you. It'll have the parents, uh, Joyce and Benny's information there. And you can see everything with the health testing, genetic testing. Both of these parents are OFA and genetic tested. Um, some European bloodlines as well. So very neat to see. So Jordan over here, I think she she crept away, didn't she? It wasn't this one. Yeah, behind Jensen. I'm gonna have to move around a little bit. So, um, but yeah, she is back here. Oh, come here, girlie. She's a bigger girl out of the group. Um, her and Jovi are very similar when it comes to size. Um, so Jordan here, bigger girl out of the group. Um, nice size beautiful socks um, you can kind of see it's pretty self-explanatory beautiful white blaze let me pick her up for you and show her off um, you got the nice white socks front and back beautiful white face and a nice round head to go with those uh, tan points on the side and a white tip tail down here um, so very neat to see but beautiful size for her um, again that's Jordan she's more laid back 
um, a little bit more on the laid back side overall. So, um, but yeah, very neat to see. Um, right now they're about five weeks old, so they're just starting to develop that personal or those personalities and uh, coming along a little bit more. So we're still kind of getting a good feel for each one. Um, most of the time it looks like this. They're starting with playtime and then five minutes later they're all asleep and taking a nap. So literally everyone's just falling asleep right now. We just got done with pictures. Um, so just finished up with that. I'll move on to the sleeping beauty over here. Um, her name is Jada and no, not Jada, that's Jax. Yep, that's Jax. Uh, Jax over here right beside the crate, got the nice white blaze. Um, him and Jensen are very similar when it comes to size, um, but he very similar markings. He's got a little bit more weight on his toes up front. Um, the hind paws look very similar. Come here, buddy. Let me grab you real quick and show you all. There you go. So you got white socks in the back, white socks in the front, nice tuxedo look up front and a beautiful white blaze for him with the white tip tail, but no blue eye for him. So that's the biggest difference between him and Jensen. And then personality wise, um, just a little bit more laid back than Jensen. He's just more chill, uh, more laid back. Um, comparing to Jensen, Jensen's more of the outgoing sort, um, which is very neat to see. So sorry, I interrupted his nap. Hopefully he'll be okay <laughs> with it. So. Um, and we got two more to talk about. I think one's taking a nap back here in the corner. Yeah, you. Just woke you up. Um, pretty sure. Yeah, so this is Jovi, the uh, bigger girl out of the group. Her and I think Jordan are very, very similar when it comes to size. Um, she is an absolute poser. Um, when we were doing pictures, she would just sit there and tilt her head and just was an absolute, you can just see right now, she's just sitting there taking everything in. Very, very attentive girl. Um, super, super sweet and more of the laid back teddy bear sort. So you just want to take a nap, right? Yeah, so you got the nice white socks in the back, nice white socks in the front, beautiful tuxedo, nice white head. Um, or a nice white blaze on the head, and then a really nice, um, really nice amount of tan here on the side. So, very neat to see. White tip tail for her as well. Okay, guys, so next up here we have Jada hanging out in the uh, puppy bed here. Uh, one of the smaller girls as well. I'd say um, she is the smallest girl out of the group. I just interrupted her nap, so she's looking at me, wondering why I did what I did. Um, but very neat to see here, you got the nice white socks in the back, nice white socks up front, just kind of the tippy toes being covered. Beautiful tan on the side of her face and on the legs there, um, along with the white blaze and a beautiful white tip tail back here as well. So very neat to see. She's one of the more outgoing girls, a little bit more on the energetic side. Very fun to be around. She'll flop around too. She'll hang out on her back, take it easy. Um, very sweet little girl but a little bit more energetic, a little bit more outgoing overall with her personality. Um, so again, guys, that's Jada. And that's everyone from Joyce's Litter this time around. And everyone seems to be doing great. Doesn't seem to see, or I don't really see anything out of the ordinary as far as health concerns or anything like that. Um, we do have a bet check coming up as well. So um, stay tuned for that if you're interested, but if you guys have any questions for me, feel free to reach out to me. My number is 330-234-0102. Um, if you're having any interest in these little babies, you can see a little bit of activity now coming along um, as they're coming out of their nap. So I'm um, waking up a little bit more, but yeah, these guys are doing great. Um, thanks for tuning in today and I guess we'll see you guys next time. Stay tuned.